Well, good morning and welcome to another edition of the Morning Devotional. My name is Pastor William Hill. I am the pastor of Fellowship Presbyterian Church located in Newport, uh, Tennessee. We are a congregation of the Presbyterian Church in America. We're located right near the Smoky Mountains. Uh, we're in a small county, small community. Uh, but if you're ever in the area, I would encourage you to come visit with us uh, each Lord's Day. We worship at 11 o'clock in the morning as well as 5 in the afternoon. We do have Bible study and prayer meeting on Wednesdays at 6 o'clock. Today is June 23rd, 2020. This is edition number 62, season 1, as we work our way through Psalm 119. Today we're going to be considering verses 125 and 126. But let's pray together, as we always do. Let's ask for God's help and blessing upon our brief time together. Father, as we come to you now, uh, we would ask that you would bless us, and that you would be gracious to us, you'd make your face to shine upon us, that you'd forgive us for our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness, that you would cause us to walk in your ways, that we would heed the words of your truth, these scriptures penned by your spirit, given to your people to light our path. Be with your people. Be with them this morning and help them as they enter another day, may they do it to your glory. May you uh, provide protection and safety for them. We pray that you'd uh, sustain us, that you would teach us. Even now, we ask for Christ's sake. Amen. Well, as I said, we are in uh, verses 125 and 126 uh, together this morning. Psalm 100. 19 verse 125 reads, I am your servant, give me understanding that I may know your testimonies. One of the things right away that just strikes me as we read this, the opening line of this verse is that the place in which the psalmist puts himself. He has a, an awareness and an understanding that he is a servant of God. And even as we come to God's word, we must always remember that. And we don't sit in judgment over the scriptures. We sit as servants under the word of God. Uh, we are given these instructions by God that we may serve him correctly and rightly in this world. And I have to tell you, it's becoming more and more difficult in the day in which we live. There's opposition from without. There's opposition from within. But as servants of God, we continue to uh, look to and hope in the unchangeable truth of the 66 canonical books of God's Word. And so he appeals to that very truth and makes that declaration that I am your servant, give me understanding. Give me understanding. There's so much in the Bible that is hard to understand. Not all things are like plain unto themselves. Our Confession of Faith, chapter 1, says that very clearly. But those things that are to be known for salvation, about God and salvation, are, clear, are, are clearly uh, given in the scriptures. But there's much that we don't understand. Uh, there are many times we read a passage and we wonder, why is that even here? What is the point? And, uh, and so we need help to understand those things. As servants, we need uh, the, the one to whom we serve to guide us and to direct us. And, and God has not left us alone in that matter. The Lord Jesus Christ sent His Holy Spirit, sent the Spirit to teach Him, to teach us all things, to teach us that which ever He commands Him to teach. And the Spirit who wrote the Scriptures then therefore helps His people as we seek Him in prayer that we might understand God's truth. It's one of the reasons why we pray before we do these devotionals. We need help. And it's good to acknowledge that. Uh, it, it's an awful and dreadful arrogance to approach God's Word without humbling ourselves before the God who wrote them, that we might understand them. And so the psalmist, he does just that. He understands the vital importance uh, to acknowledge his place as a servant and depend upon the Spirit for truth and understanding. And that's what he says. Give me understanding that I may know your testimonies, not merely academically. Such an easy thing for some to gravitate towards the Bible as, in a, as an academic exercise. I know that temptation all too well, um, but it's more than that. It's an, uh, it's a, it's an understanding it's a, it, that goes beyond just mental acuity, but it moves into wisdom and practice. 
And that's the idea. The Christian life is not something to learn, it's something to live. Now, those are not mutually exclusive issues. We must learn in order to live. But that's the idea. We learn in order to live, understanding, knowing the wisdom and mind of God and applying that to whatever circumstance we find ourselves. Now, in that, my friends, we must have God's help. Otherwise, we are going to fall flat on our face often. And so it's important to be reminded of this simple truth. Well, he goes on in, um, in verse 126, it is time for the Lord to act, for your law has been broken. And godly people want to see the Lord vindicated. We want to see that for the right reasons. We pray for the wicked and the evil, that they might repent and turn to Christ. But if they won't do that, then we, do, then we want to see the Lord act in a, in a, in a way that is, it, it expresses His justice. In both cases, the Lord is acting both in the salvation of sinners and the justice of the, in the just judgment of the wicked. Here, I think the psalmist has in mind the, the wicked acts of the, uh, of the unrighteous. And he uh, begs, he asks of the Lord to do something. And the reason is, is because the law, God's law, for your law has been broken. Not, not Bill's law, not your law, but the law of the Lord has been violated, which is an attack directly upon the very nature of God. And every godly person wants to see our Father in heaven, our God in heaven vindicated. We want to see his name, uh, we don't want to see his name sullied and dragged through the mud. We want to see him all glorious and majestic as he is. And so the psalmist wants that as he prays for the Lord to act and to work uh, in the world of unrighteousness in a world that has broken his laws. So these two elements here this morning are very helpful for us to again remember uh, the truths that the Word of God remind us, reminds us of each day. That we are servants, we need help to understand, to know, and to live the very truths of God's Word. We know that those words are unchangeable God will vindicate his righteous name and his people, and we should pray for the repentance of sinners, but also the just judgment of a righteous God over evil. Well, again, I trust that these times together have been helpful. If you would like to drop me a note, you can do so. The information is there on your screen before you. Additionally, you'll find other information below the video. Until tomorrow, may the Lord bless you and keep you, make his face to shine upon you, and be gracious to you.